back to work. Oh, let's see if he just pulls right out in front of me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a neat, cool cloud formation. Ah, uh, you're just going to have to guess what I'm looking at. It's very strange, though. So I've been a little off my game the last couple of days, which, no, hey, they can't all be YouTube gold now, can I? Uh, still in the 40-day count, and, you know, so far it's been pretty lively. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, I did a video on Monday uh, saying, mm, "Is this the uh, you know? Are we are we looking at potentially the Isaiah 17 prophecy being fulfilled?" I don't know. I don't know. I do see a lot of gearing up. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, a lot of weapons being amassed, both in land and sea. It's not looking good, people. And I think they really need this uh, new war. To uh, distract the nations politically from the uh, inevitable collapse that uh, well that we're currently going through. It's not even uh, it, it's not even a uh, far off or at the door type of thing. We could say uh, it's a right here and now. We're going into it hardcore. That whole thing with the metals. Uh, you know, uh, being suppressed last month, man, I'm, yeah, I knew right then that was going to have uh, counterintuitive uh, consequences, you know, I mean, these bankers, they think, ha, ah, people are so stupid, no, they're not so stupid, they're stupid, but they're not so stupid. Like the old saying, I may have born, I may have been born at night, but I wasn't born last night. And uh, when you saw the the drop in paper contracts, you saw the separation of the actual metals market. Uh, uh, decoupling from the uh, the paper market because it didn't matter what the uh, it didn't matter what the uh, futures price on the metal was. The actual asking price from the the, uh, the dealers, they were tacking on some pretty hefty, and, and still are tacking on some pretty hefty uh, premiums on the shiny stuff. So, you know, I, I saw that coming from about a block away. I didn't think that the, the, the price of the metal would be driven down as quite as far as it was, but hey, <laughs> uh, I've, I've always been one to say that don't look at the paper metal price. That's bupkis, it's, it's Bolshevism. Um, But, yeah, I mean, we're just in it now. I mean, there's, like I said, like I said before, the only way out is through. We're going to have to go through this stuff. There's no backing out. I mean, you can, <laughs> you can back out, but it's going to be a very painful proposition. Very painful proposition indeed. Uh... I have four bad.
put on a lighter note. Stay in that anointing that I've been given in the last few days, and I'm, and I'm still, uh, you know, I've been. I have to tell you, the last couple of days I've been trying to do it in, a, in my own flesh, and it, it doesn't work that way. You have to depend on Him, and that's part of the, part of the drawback. <laughs> you can't aggrandize. You can't. Uh, Word I'm looking for. Um, you can't be self-righteous about it because he'll, he'll take it back just as quick as he can give it. So, um, you can't be like a dog who uh, returns to his vomit. You can't be as one who sees himself in the mirror as soon as he walks away, forgets what he looks like. Uh, to borrow from Paul. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, hey, I'm, I'm still learning this stuff too, guys. I'm by no means a perfect man. Uh, I'm just ahead of the curve. I'm just a very useful tool in the hand of the Creator. But, uh, anyway, stay blessed, people. I'm, uh, I cut it short. Yeah, I, I'm trying to keep them a little shorter today, I'm trying to keep from the long pauses as much as possible. So, uh, yeah, move on. <laughs>